difficulty of a Mars mission is the fuel and supplies you need to return. You know, for every pound of fuel that you need to launch off of Mars, you have to launch 30 or 50 or 70 pounds of propellant off the Earth just to get the propellant to Mars to propel you back. This problem is at the heart of why we aren't on Mars today. The technology needed to pull off the return trip is still many years away. It gets an awful lot easier if you don't have to come home. And suddenly the mission becomes much more doable. But now you need people who are ready to commit to spend the rest of their lives in a small enclosed cabin in an environment that will kill them in three seconds if they step outside. If you want humans to go to Mars anytime soon, then there's no alternative to a mission of permanent settlement because it's so complex to do a return mission. Even if there was a return rocket ready on Mars, I think I would still be organizing a mission of permanent settlement because if you settle on Mars, then it's really the next giant leap for mankind. Mars One is working with Lockheed Martin to build its one-way spacecraft. But it has an even bigger challenge. Who on Earth would volunteer to spend the rest of their lives in a space the size of an RV on a toxic planet? We're looking for people with the right psychology, mostly. Of course, they have to be healthy, they have to be smart, because we have to teach them a lot of new skills. Baz plans to raise money for the trip by selling the rights to a reality TV show shot on Mars. After a couple of years setting up a Martian base, they'll be joined by a second crew. The early years, there will be a lot of work in construction. So especially the first months, there's interconnecting the modules, deploying solar panels, installing the greenhouse equipment. On Mars, you'll have very limited water, so maybe you can't shower for a couple of years. Uh, you'll have to grow your own food. You'll spend a lot of time on that. Is that something that you, that you fear? No, because it's all part of the experience. Because every hundred feet you take is a whole new experience, a whole new explorer. You're the first person there, something new is there. So everything we do is going to be new and exciting. A lot of people are so surprised when they hear that people are actually interested in a mission of permanent settlement, a one-way trip. But don't forget that this has been going on throughout the history of our planet. We started in one location and spread all over the world. Do you think it's crazy to leave everything behind? I do think it's crazy, but I, like I said, I, I think we have to be able to do these crazy things in order to push progress in this, this world.